What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to do some quick Atlanta Falcons news. And then I also would like to talk about a head coach um, that I believe could be a candidate for our Atlanta Falcons. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. Uh, we all on the road to 1K, 1,000 subscribers. Um, but I appreciate you guys continuing to share out my content. Um, if you would like to follow your boy on Twitter, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. Um, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So quick Atlanta Falcons news. Young Way Koo, a kicker for Atlanta Falcons, and Grady Jarrett, defensive tackle for Atlanta Falcons, both were nominated to the Pro Bowl. Um, this is Young Way Koo's first Pro Bowl selection. Um, it's well deserved. Uh, Young Way Koo has balled out all season long. He has been one of the bright spots for our Atlanta Falcons this year. So I'm really proud of the way that he's performed. And I definitely think that it's time for the Atlanta Falcons uh, to look at giving him a long term deal. Um, he currently leads the league in, in points scored. Um, and like I said, he's bought out all year. I don't believe he's missed uh, one field goal at over 50 yards this year, which is extremely uh, amazing. Um, Grady Jarrett actually was nominated to his second Pro Bowl in a row. He actually made the team for the first time last year. He made the Pro Bowl, and this is his second year, um, second selection. Um, so I'm really proud of Grady Jarrett um, and the way that he continues to develop. Um, he is one of the best defensive tackles in the game. I put him right behind Aaron Donald um, at that nose tackle position. Uh, he showed on Sunday. He's been showing us all season why he's one of the best uh, defensive players in the game. I definitely think he's a top 20 uh, defensive player in, 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 a, uh, in the NFL, excuse me. And he's just proven uh, why the Atlanta Falcons gave him that long-term contract and that big contract about a year ago. Uh, Grady Jarrett has earned every penny um, ever since he broke out in 2016 uh, in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. He hasn't looked back. He's been one of the best defensive players, not only on our team, but in the league. Um, and I'm just glad that he's finally getting the notoriety around the league as one of the better defenders, one of the best defense uh, defensive players in the game. Um, so shout out to those guys for making the Pro Bowl. Um, two players, I think, that was snubbed from our Atlanta Falcons roster, who was snubbed from the Pro Bowl roster this year. Um, number one, Calvin Ridley. Um, I definitely think that he was snubbed and he should have made the team, the Pro Bowl this year. Um, this is his third year in the league and he had his first thousand yard receiving uh, season. Uh, so shout out to Calvin Ridley. He currently leads our Atlanta Falcons in receiving yards and touchdowns uh, this season. And he's pretty much balled out all season. Um, Julio Jones has been battling, you know, that lingering hamstring all season and has missed about four or five games already. And Calvin Ridley really stepped up this season. Stepped up to the plate uh, on Sunday. He proved that he has taken the next step and that he could be a number one receiver uh, in the game. Uh, in this game, he had a uh, hundred and sixty three yards receiving in the touchdown. So shout out to Calvin Ridley for performing um, at an all pro level this year. I definitely think he deserved the Pro Bowl, but we know how that goes. Um, you know, voting comes into it and politics comes into it. So. You know, no knock on the guys that did make it, but shout out to Calvin Ridley, who I think should have made the team. Another guy on our Atlanta Falcons roster that I think deserved to make the Pro Bowl was a four-year Luacon, uh, the linebacker for our Atlanta Falcons. He's another guy that really has developed well um, in this scheme and for our Atlanta Falcons uh, since he's came into the league. Um, I believe he went undrafted, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but Foya Luakon, if he if he was drafted, I think he was a later pick, but he definitely was one of those guys, um, you know, that has really balled out, is playing at the all pro level. And I definitely thought that he deserved to make, um, you know, make the Pro Bowl, even though he had he isn't a household name yet. I do think in the next couple seasons, he's going to continue to grow and he's going to continue to receive notoriety, kind of like a great Jared. Because I do believe that Foyer, Luakon, and Deion Jones is one of the best linebacker pairings or tandems in the game. Um, but with that being said, um, 
also a uh, breaking news today in the line of Falcons news. Um, Jordan Miller defensive back for our Atlanta Falcons uh, was waived by the team or cut today. Um, he's a guy that I mentioned actually in my last video and I kind of talked about he's been MIA all season uh, for whatever reason, the coaching staff, you know, never put him out on the field. Um, he's been on the team. I believe this is his second or third year in the league, but he never actually, um, you know, he never actually either developed or he never actually really got any playing time. So I don't know what that was all about. I don't know if he was in a doghouse or one of the head coaches or one of the position coaches. But for whatever reason, they felt like he couldn't help our Atlanta Falcons team. Um, he did start the year off on um, um, suspended for, I believe, about four games. And then when he was activated, they never uh, played him. So for whatever reason, he never got any playing time. I'm not too sure if he wasn't practicing well or if it was some off the field issues going on with him. But, you know, at this point, we'll never know. But, you know, happy trails to Jordan Miller. Um, hopefully he, you know, he gets picked up by someone else and gets to prove his worth. Um, but with that being said, I would like to jump into um, a head coach uh, candidate that was actually mentioned by one of the fans. Um actually asked me about Dennis Allen being the next head coach for the Atlanta Falcons. What do I think about Dennis Allen? Uh, Dennis Allen is currently uh, the Saints defensive coordinator, and he's been that defensive coordinator for a couple years now. I believe it's been about four or five, four or five, six years. Um, he's done a really good job with that Saints defense. Uh, Dennis Allen does have that aggressive uh, style. He likes to blitz. He likes to play physical. Um, but as a head coach for Atlanta Falcons, personally, I don't necessarily want Dennis Allen as our head coach. Um, it's nothing against Dennis Allen personally. I just prefer um, an offensive head coach. I really think that the Atlanta Falcons, the way that our team is built, I think that we'll be best off going with the offensive minded head coach and bringing in a, a solid defensive coordinator. If you remember over the last couple of uh, seasons, um, the last two head coaches that we've had, Mike Smith, Dan Quinn, have been defensive minded coaches. Um, Matt Ryan really has never had a great offensive mind as a head coach. He's always um, pretty much had average to below average offensive coordinators. Um, Dirk Cutter, uh, Greg Knapp, um, you know, those guys are not known as, you know, the best. So, you know, the only guy that I can say is really known as a genius or a boy wonder when it comes to being an offensive mind is Kyle Shanahan. To me, he was the best offensive coordinator that Matt Ryan has ever had when it came to creativity um, and when it came to knowing how to use your weapons, knowing how to use your receivers, your running backs, knowing players' strengths, knowing players' weaknesses. I think Kyle Shanahan was the best offensive coordinator that Matt Ryan has ever played for. Um, knew how to take advantage of matchups and things of that nature. And I really think that, um, you know, Dennis Allen, I think he would be a solid head coach. Um, but I don't really think that he's a good fit for our Atlanta Falcons, the current roster that we have. Um, I do believe that he's a solid coach. And I do think that he could possibly get a head coach uh, position somewhere else. I just don't think that um, it's with our Atlanta Falcons. You know, I respect Dennis Allen a whole lot. I do think that. Um, he's done a great job with that Saints defense. Um, they actually are currently the number one defense in the league. Um, and like I said, he has that, uh, you know, that aggressive blitzing and things of that nature, uh, playing tight man coverage and stuff like that. He loves um, to get after the quarterback um, with his, you know, with his scheme. But I don't really think that he's the best fit for our Atlanta Falcons. Um, personally, I think it's a lot of younger guys out there, you know, hotter names out there maybe offensive minds that we can bring in. Um, like I said, I do think Dylan, uh, Dennis Allen is a solid, you know, coach. Um, he actually was here in Atlanta as one of our coaches um, years ago. So Dennis Allen has bounced around um, a lot. He's been around for, you know, a decent part in the NFL. He's been, you know, he has the experience. I definitely think that some team is going to give him a chance. I just don't think that it's going to be Arthur Blank and Rich McKay. I really don't think that they're going to, uh, bring in a guy like Dennis Allen. Um, so if, I don't know if I really answered uh, the question, 
um, you know, that the fan may have. But that's personally where I stand on it. I think Dennis Allen is a solid coach, but I wouldn't necessarily um, want Dennis Allen to be here in Atlanta. Personally, I don't want any of the coaches uh, from the New Orleans Saints to be our head coach um, or any of the guys over there to be one of our coaches. Uh, personally, I just think that bringing in a Dennis Allen or somebody like that, I think, he, like I said, he's a great defensive mind. He's um, been around the game. I just don't know how well he could lead a team. Like, it's one thing to be a good defensive coordinator. It's a whole nother thing to be able to, uh, you know, lead 53 men and, you know, put together a whole coaching staff and also have players look up to you. Like, I want a coach to have those leadership skills, those leadership qualities where, um, you know, the team respects him. And not only the defensive players respect him, but the whole team has to respect you. And we have some guys in this in this locker room like Julio Jones, Matt Ryan, some veteran guys has been around for a very long time um, that has a lot of uh, clout, you know, that they're, you know, the cream of the crop. And I want those guys to get the very best. I do believe, like I said, it's time for the Atlanta Falcons to go and look for an offensive minded head coach. Um, at this point, bring in somebody that can maximize Matt Ryan, maximize the running game, uh, maximize the wide receivers and their abilities. I feel like right now we're we're not maximizing with Dirk Cutter. He's not maximizing these guys' strengths and playing towards these guys' strengths. Um, he's not using the running backs in the best way possible, um, and he's not doing a good job of scheming guys open and you know creating being creative. So I do think that bringing in an offensive mind would really really help uh, Matt Ryan in the offense. Um, you know, get back to the 20, the ways of the 2016 uh, team having a top 10 uh, offense, um, even maybe a top five offense. We have the weapons, to be honest, to be a top five offense. But I don't really think that Dennis Allen would be the guy that could actually, you know, get the best out of these players that we currently have. He possibly could come in and help elevate the defense a little bit. But I really feel like the biggest problem with this Falcons team is the offense. I don't really I, I see the defense and I do think the defense needs to, to add a couple more pieces. But I do think that, um, you know, if you bring in a veteran defensive coordinator, he'll be able to kind of right the ship and, you know, we'll be able to have one of those defenses that can create turnovers. But I really think that the Atlanta Falcons identity should be an offensive minded team. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but the way that the team is currently built, this team is built to be an offensive juggernaut, to be an offensive-minded uh, team. So I really think that it's time to bring in um, our version of uh, Eric B. In the mean, um, possibly bring in um, uh, Arthur Smith from the Tennessee Titans um, is a name that I like. Um, it's a lot of guys out here that I kind of like. These uh, the the guy Brian uh, Debold, uh, the ball from. Um, the Buffalo Bills, uh, their offensive coordinator, I think he would be a good fit for this team. Um, but I really don't think Dennis Allen would be able to, you know, squeeze all of the juice out of the orange because Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, they're coming up on the backside of their career at this point. And it's time for us to bring in um, an offensive coordinator that can, you know, utilize these guys' strengths. If you remember in 2016, when we went to the Super Bowl, that team was built to put up a lot of points and a defense that could be opportunistic and force the other team to be one dimensional where you can force them into having to pass the ball because they have to play catch up. And then your defense can go out there, pin their ears back, get after the quarterback and also create turnovers, get interceptions, uh, you know, cause force fumbles and things of that nature where the offense was un basically unstoppable. And it was, you know, cr the offense could create, and put so much pressure on the opposing team's offense that they were forced to make mistakes. So I feel like that's pretty much how this team is currently built. And I would continue to go with that, uh, go that way. Now in the draft, I would look at bringing in um, possibly some defensive players that could, you know, solidify the defense. But I still believe that the bread is buttered on this Falcons team by the offense. Um, but with that being said, this being your boy, Jew. You guys let me know what you think in the comments um, about uh, Dennis Allen. Do you think that he will be a good fit for 
the Atlanta Falcons as our head coach. Personally, I don't think that he'll be a good fit for the Falcons. I do think that he deserves a shot at being as uh, being somebody's head coach. I just don't think that him coming to Atlanta is a good fit. Um, so with that being said, this be your boy, Jew. You guys keep the questions coming. If you have a topic that you would like me to talk about, um, you know, heading into this offseason, we have uh, two games left, a game against uh, the Chiefs and a game against the Buccaneers. But you guys continue to keep the comments coming, keep the questions coming. Um, if you have another question, don't hesitate to drop it uh, in the comment section. Um, I love to do a video on maybe a question that you may have. Um, and also just want to put a quick plugger in tonight. You want to tune in at 8 p.m. on my channel, Mad Mike Sports uh, uh, AFN. We will be doing um, our Tuesday night show, the Atlanta Falcons heavy hitters, uh, me, K Styles and Mad Mike Sports. So you guys tune in. We'll be doing some Q&A. We'll be talking about this season so far, how it's panned out. And we'll be talking a little bit about the Chiefs uh, versus the Falcons. We do travel to Arrowhead Stadium um, to face the uh, defending champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. So this is going to be a good litmus test um, heading into the offseason to see, um, you know, how good this Atlanta Falcons team really is. How much talent do we really have? Can we keep up with this uh, Chiefs team? Can we score with these guys? I do believe that our Falcons do have a shot. At competing with these guys, um, I've mentioned it before, the Falcons have a ton of talent. It's just about putting this talent together, putting it in right the right position to succeed. But with that being said, this being your boy, Ju, I'll holler at you guys this evening at 8. But as always, Falcons Nation, if you haven't already, hit that um, subscribe button for your boy. We're on the road to 1K. Um, also, happy holidays to you guys. It is a couple days before Christmas. So I hope you guys have a prosperous holiday. Um, you guys stay safe out there. Make sure you wear your mask. And with that being said, I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcon Station, rise up. Peace.